Hey, can you hear me? What's up, you rat sluts? Let's get it. Oh my God!
My name's Sydney Dolezal. I'm 14 years old. Um, this is my band called Dollskin. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Uh, this next song is called Shut Up, You Miss Me. Um, hold on, I'm adjusting. If you know it, please sing. We wrote the song when I was like 14, and so I can't fucking sing it anymore, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, we filmed the music video for the song in my mother's house. There's some people in the crowd that were in that like music video, so hi if you're there. Oh, how many people are here that were in that music video? I know it was a while ago. My sister was in there? Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, cool, cool. It's good to see you here. Thank you for coming. I was there. Oh, Alex no was shit. there. I think Alex was there. I think I, I was there too. I, no way. Wait, I, Nicole wasn't there, no. No. No, yeah. This is her doppelganger. Yeah, yeah, hi, Nicole, hi. No lick instead of Nicole. No lick, it's your doppelganger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whatever. All right, ready? Terrible. Boo. Okay, ready? opportunity yeah i hope you like it the first time we practiced with him i literally was like i, I couldn't pay attention to the lyrics i was singing because it just felt so good to my brain so good yeah so i was stimming I was, so all you fellow autistics out there um, <laughs> so and before we start this i just want to mention because i'm really fucking proud of myself and uh okay um this band has given me an, ad an avenue to heal, to work through shit. 
And a lot of times I used it to run away, but I confronted a lot of problems on this record that this song was on. Um, and now at the end of this month, I'm gonna be four years sober. <laughs> say thank you for supporting me thank you for holding me accountable without even knowing it and thank you for coming back thank you for hanging out with us i hope you like this song and to anyone who might be going through the same shit you don't have to be sober to be happy but it sure fucking helps to think about it this song's called out of my mind yeah! ah! Ah! okay here we go amazing. Chris Marchant, that's his name, remember. Um, <coughs> so, I'm not stage diving. I'm not doing it. I'll get kicked out of my own show. Listen, listen. <laughs> oh, fuck, I am. Oh. I knew wearing these things was a mistake. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate. My ear thing. 
I'm just going to take them out because it's just going to keep happening. Um, I love having big earlobes, but like that shit happens all the time when I wear the cute ones, of course. Um, I loved you since high school. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Thank you. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been in high school? <laughs> Sophomore in college now. God damn. God damn. Um, so, this song is for anybody who uh, has needed time to be alone within themselves to figure themselves out. And it fucking hurt, but you know you needed it. And afterwards, you found your community, you found who you are, you found your people. So many people have told me that they needed this song. So many people have told me that they relate to this song, and I'm sorry you fucking needed this song. I'm sorry you relate to this song. But here we have it. The song's called Empty House. <laughs> short know your fucking worth bitches know your fucking worth um, I love you I love you Jesus Christ um, 
This next song um, <laughs> is the first song that we released when we signed our first like major record label, or major. Um, <laughs> and in this music video, when we made it, it was really funny. Um, we were at the Hopeless Records like place thing and uh, studio thing, and <laughs> we're told that just some dude's gonna show up and we're gonna kill him for the music video. And <laughs> I, I was excited, I was excited. Um, we filmed a lot of our parts and then this dude shows up and they tie him to a chair and then he starts screaming. And I'm like, is, is this real? Is like this screaming like you've never, you've never heard before. The guy was a good actor. He was great. I don't remember his name, I don't. He then won a Oscar for the role in our music video. He should have. He should have won an Oscar. Congratulations, unnamed man. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like I really like the video. I really think that it was something really fun. Um, <laughs> but I think it's funny that we got people commenting on it. They were like, "Oh my God, where's the blood warning?" Even that, like when we were cutting our hand, and it wasn't really cutting our hand. It was just like ketchup on our hand. They were like, "Where's?" And I'm like. It, Blood warning for the ketchup. Okay, I'll remember that for next time. Um, but this song is called Mark My Words. <laughs> So, do you guys remember 
when Lil Peep died in our in this state. Do you guys remember when Lil Peep died? So we wrote this next song after Lil Peep passed um, down in Tucson after getting lace drugs, um, which was a really fucking huge tragedy. Um, rip Lil Peep, rest in peace, Lil Peep. Um, like, Poetry in the streets. I, as someone who is now four years sober, almost from drugs and from alcohol. Um, I guess it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I understand what it's like to struggle with substance abuse. And so we wrote this song. We wrote this song before I ever touched drugs. But um, I think that now it means more than ever to me especially with so many people getting laced drugs and such a huge problem with the mental health institutions in our country. I think, I think that now more than ever, it's a really important time to reach out to your friends. This song is called Your Idols Are Dying. <laughs> desert. Oh my god. <laughs> right? We're in the desert, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna... Listen, guys. Make sure you're drinking water. Hydrate. Listen. Yes, mom. I'm waiting. You're good. So, so, make sure you drink some water. Make sure you find some at some point. At some point. I'm just saying. At some point tonight. I know, I know. 
Because <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I have a really important message before we play this next song. Um, hydrate or 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 die straight. Thank you. Could not be me. Could not be me. Could not be me. Not in 2023. Um, the song's "Love Is Dead" and we killed her. Um, the music video for it. It's a lot of videos and shit from that tour. Taken by Kelly. <laughs> so say thank you to Kelly for one of like the cutest videos, coolest videos ever. Made us look so cool. Yeah, hey, Kelly. wait. While we're Love you, Kelly. While we're doing shout outs, Kelly, you're involved. You, you don't have to stay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kelly was there on this tour when Chloe, our UK street team gal, totally styled us out, took care of us. So... Hey, shout out to Chloe and Melanie, our U.S. street team gal. Both of them traveled to be here. They're right there. Look at them. So thank you both. More than we can, like, express. Like, you two, for real. <laughs> so much of our online community is because of those two right there. And there's, there's obviously a lot of other people involved with making sure the place stays safe and happy and that the Discord stays functional. Um, <laughs> Especially on nights like tonight, uh, where the stream, you guys fucking crashed the server, um, which is cool. I know you guys aren't watching the stream because you're here, but it, it got crashed, and we had to move it to Twitch, I guess, right? 
Someone, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you are really enjoying yourself tonight, the video will be on like YouTube or something later. You'll see posts about it, so just pay attention. Um, anyway, that's the plug I'll do. So this song is called Persephone. Yes! Before we started! Before we started. One more shout out. Thank you guys. One for more. Me. One more. Cameron? Cameron. <laughs> He's hiding? Cameron? Cameron. 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 Uh, Cameron has been with us for like 40 years. Uh, we've been a band for 40 years, you know. Um, and Cameron's been our photographer and friend and like family member and we love him to pieces and thank you. He's done everything in merch, you know, photography. He's, he's, he's a king. He, he, saved, he, he saved our ass on Warp Tour yep. 2018. By, you got on Warp Tour by means that I... <laughs> you got on Warp Tour by means we can't share. Um, okay. And then we took him. We took him and he proved to be actually really good. And, and Macario. Can, yeah, I want to say, can I also shout out Macario? He's in the back, back doing our sound. Macario, 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 Macario. Listen, without these two, a lot of tours wouldn't have fucking happened and we wouldn't have met a lot of you guys. They were our best friends on tour. They have done incredible work with us and we are so grateful to both Macario and Cameron for the time you spent with us. Yeah. Thank you guys. Professional best friends. All right, Persephone. Three. Wait, who's... <laughs> anyway, I'm done with the sappy shit. No chick flick moments.
Got any grapes, bitch? place called School of Rock <laughs> where we learned a lot of covers together separately um, <laughs> and this isn't one of them I'm kidding um, <laughs> you'll see your mom within the first second of it happening <laughs> you'll know you'll know um, <laughs> but we had to learn a lot of covers and this is a song we've literally been playing since before we were a band I think literally so we're gonna play it and you're gonna know it. So, <laughs> it's Freebird. What did I tell you? Could I get another water? 
Um, can I get one? Is there, if there's one that's not cold, that would be best. Anyone that's not cold. It looks cold. Anyway. <laughs> Lukewarm water! It's the best to keep you hydrated, okay? That's all. Okay, that's all right. Thanks for trying, Nate. I'm only a little bit mad. Okay, I'm only a little pissed. <laughs> Guys, Nicole and Nate got married not too long ago. Can I say something? I want to say. Okay, so, hi guys, I'm Nicole. <laughs> um, and I met my husband on tour, 2019, New Found Glory Tour. He's right there. He played in the early November. If you guys saw that tour, you saw us both play, we met, we fell in love. Now we are married, thank you. So cute. Wow. <laughs> Prove that you're married. Because um, listen, we, I, we wrote this song so many years ago. Literally, it was, I think it was it like the second or third song we ever fucking wrote. Um, <laughs> and it's a song about lesbians. <laughs> Anybody else here in the LGBTQA community? How many of you are in the double floppy wrist community? It's, a, it's an autism thing, if you didn't get that. Um, <laughs> it, it's comfortable. That's a really good question. It, they're, they're, they're like picking their nails. That's the ADHD thing, yeah. Gay, autistic. Anyway, this song's called Let's Be Honest. <laughs>
Um, thank you, one. Thank you guys so much for all coming out to this. And for me personally, I just want to say thank you to Megan. She orchestrated so much of the behind the scenes on this show. She's incredible. We love her. Go, Megan, go. Megan, Megan, Megan. Oh, do more. Give yourself a drum Wait, solo. Wait, do the drum solo. The okay. drum solo. Yes. Everybody, this is the best drum solo you'll ever see, so Literally. shut the fuck up. Literally, this is my drum solo. You ready? What? Trademark, Megan Herring. <laughs> so good. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> like, genuinely, I... I've been in a tough spot with my executive function and shit and like putting something like this together would not have been possible without Megan and without so many fucking people behind the scenes but Megan literally like Megan was working Megan was on tour with Adore Delano and Megan was like doing so many fucking things and somehow didn't die from stress like literally like what the fuck there is still time to die from stress that, that is true um <laughs> So, but personally, if I get more than two text messages at a time, I start crying. So, thank you, Megan. <laughs> um, thank you. Oh my God, is there a slideshow of our pictures Yo, going back? Yes, now? yes, yes. How my mom did that. that. Thank you, you have have a launch. That's for that. a picture of us with Vic. Oh my God. I know. There, look, you gotta watch it. Vic, it's what? insane. That's also Demi Lovato. Did you guys see that? The one with Demi Lovato. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, who's that? <laughs> it's too small. Oh, shiprocked. Oh, there's shiprocked. a lot of shiprocked ones. We're all <laughs> Corey, Corey Taylor. Taylor. Corey Taylor <laughs> and Alicia Taylor. This what is, is turned into a watch party. Prague, Czech Republic. Prague, Czech Republic. Um, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. This is turned into a watch party Cold. for the slideshow. Um, uh, oh, that was dinner. Kelly. That was We're eating Kelly. dinner. We're eating dinner, dinner in dinner. the UK. Okay. Um. um anyway, oh my God, hey. I can literally sit here and watch this. Forever. So, it's warp tour. This is my personal favorite song to play with this band with you know all these people. Yeah. The song is my favorite. That's just whatever. Sydney talk. So I, I've done this spiel before this song before, so you'll know where I'm going. Um, don't, don't look, don't, don't spoil it for yourself. Um, so, <laughs> but this song, it, I hate that this song is necessary still. I hate that this song, we wrote it back in like 2016, I think. Something like that, 2015 or something. I was four years old. Because there was a sudden resurgence, a sudden resurgence of people that I would like to punch in the face. You know, I would like to punch him in the face. And I feel like I'm not wrong for that because they've gotten too fucking bold. It is, it is break stuff like by Limp Bizkit. Let's go. Yeah. No. Um, no. It's just one of those days. <laughs> it's all about the Houston. You guys know so much more of that song than I do. <laughs> it's all about the he said, she said bullshit. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Okay, listen, stop. stop. No more Fred Durst. No. I know. I, wait, like, do we need to give him credit on our like ASCAP after this or no, something? No, no. <laughs> no. It's royalties. Um, so, but anyway. <laughs> this song is about finding your local Nazi and punching him in the fucking face!
I'm glad we're Hi. on the same page. We have a little special part B of the set. Hello. Um, yeah, please. Um, if you've been our fan for a while now, you'll know that over the course of the last couple of years, we've had some lovely, talented, amazing fucking friends come out with us. First, Megan and I would bring a few friends of ours out, and then I would bring a few friends out and we wanted to do something super fucking special and so fucking meaningful to me and bring them out to play some songs that they've been playing with me on the road for the last few for the last year. This is our upcoming single that we're, is a gift, a parting gift. Can I have everyone come on stage? Hello, come on up. Everybody Hello. on this song, okay. Because <laughs> if you've seen us in the last two years, how long have we been playing this song? Two years. Two years. It's <laughs> not even two years that we've been wanting to put it out, but not able to because of a lot of things. There's a little lot going on, okay? There's been a lot going on. And so we've been playing this song just hoping that we could just put it out and hoping that you guys would love it in the meantime. Because we wrote this song, we wrote this song at a really pivotal point in the world, in our band, in our personal lives, in our careers. And it's a really good representation of where we ended up. And I think what you guys have meant to us, and I think, I think you guys will like it, and I hope you really like it when it comes out soon. Um, what, what's the exact date? Uh, April 7th. Question mark? <laughs> Dude, listen. Listen. April 5th. April 5th. Thank you. You guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. I have like two brain cells, and one of them's per thinking about the lyrics, and the other one's thinking about not tripping over my own pants. So... <laughs> April 5th, we have this song coming out. And I fucking love this song, okay? I really like it. Yeah, what's that brain cell? <laughs> Literally, the, there's, there's, they're both gay. The, both the brain cells are gay. I, I, I was gonna, I was trying to think about which one was the gay one, but they're both gay, you know? What if we, oh my God, what if we were both gay brain cells and we kissed? Love does win. Love does win. <laughs> so I wanna, I wanna introduce everybody in case you're not familiar. All the way to my left, to your guys' right. It's gonna be. They performed in the band, not right before us, but before that. Lilac Cadillac! Give it up for Tori! Special guest appearing in not one but two bands tonight. Fuck it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the ba 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 bass. Can you slap? Can, Can you do like the Seinfeld up? intro? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Everybody give it up for Kay! <laughs> all, all the way to my right. This girl, when we brought her on tour, was 16 years old. And has so much talent and charisma that I think, I think the world is finally ready for it. And you need to just like shred our faces off tonight like you always do, because you know what you're doing. Everybody give it up for Chloe! <laughs> Last time she played with us, her guitar didn't have a headstock, and it was like, whoa, where do you tune it? Oh my god. Um, here's also a side note. <laughs> so we've been practicing a lot of this set. Uh, <laughs> we've been practicing a lot of this at the, the OG4, um, practicing a lot of this. But these, these four songs, we didn't get together to practice. So if it falls apart and we have to start over, just pretend like you didn't see the first one, okay? Um, <laughs> we're going to do our best, and it's going to go great, even if it goes great the second time. Um, 
Uh, so we're, we're, they're just doing a powwow for a second. You know, they're just talking. They're talking about what they're doing. Um, but I'm distracting you, right? I'm so distracting. I mean, we're ready. We're ready. Okay. Unless, like, you guys need a tune. Are we good? I am. This is a, a very, very loose binder. It's just skin. It's basically a skin tone um, uh, bra. Thank you. If anybody here, if anybody here, if anybody here is wearing a binder, feel free to right now reach your hand up your shirt, pull it away from your chest, and do a quick little <coughs> to get the fluid out. Okay, ready, 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 ready. I'm gonna do it. <coughs> Vine safely. This song is called Melancholia. the first chorus getting this mic off the mic stand so you didn't have to do that max but that's fine that's fine <laughs> everybody that's my buddy max calkins everybody give it up for max <laughs> special sp <laughs> how many maxes are there in the room tonight <laughs> Max Kalkins played a huge part in, in fact, he was the guitarist, helped us write this song back in 2020. Um, when a lot of shit was falling apart, he played guitar and helped with everything um, with our good friend Zach Tush. And now, now we have also joined, have, 
Oh my God. Now we have joining us on the stage our other lovely friend. Everybody, give it up for Molly! Oh. Who is that? Who is that? You? What's happening? Is that you? Ooh. There's some buzz in heaven, but that's okay. Um, so, <laughs> the bees in my head. Um, <laughs> the bees in my head were not prepared for this. Um, Downtime to talk. Let's see. So, this <laughs> next song. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this, okay? I wasn't prepared for this. I don't know what to do when I'm not prepared. Oh, we have merch. There you go. That's always my go to. Paul made some amazing jewelry, so. Yeah, not only do we have merch, but Nicole has made some fantastic fucking jewelry, and that's also for sale over there at the merch table. She's so goddamn talented. What's my current hyperfixation? It has been and always will be supernatural. Um, I'm trans and I'm gay. Of course I like Supernatural. Uh, it's embarrassing, but it's Dean. Dean is my kin. Sue me, sue me. Can you tell, can you tell? The new show? I haven't watched the new show. I have not watched it. Did we get the base figured out? Is the base okay? We're good now? Yeah. Almost. Almost got it figured out. Like, you know, I could keep talking about Supernatural. I think. <laughs> Glory, Reddick, are we good? Let's rock it. Are We're we gonna, gonna rock it. This song's called Woo! Control Freak. <laughs> Fight us! 
Two songs left. We've got two more. Listen, I, I think the tears that I've cried, the notes that I've sang, all the jumping I've done up here, <laughs> and flipping, obviously, I have done at least one flipping. Um, <laughs> do a flip. I wish I could do like a normal flip. I was just saying that. I wish I could just like stand there and just do like a front tuck. Just like, what if I could do that? That'd be really cool. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pretend to do it, and you guys are gonna pretend like you saw me do it. Ready? One, two, three. I know. I know. That was cool. I, dude, that's a, it's a one-time thing. If I try to do it again, I'm gonna break my neck. I know it. That's how it works. Okay. <laughs> So we have two more songs. We have two more songs. All of this, as much as this has been for us to say goodbye to Dollskin, all of this has been for fucking you guys. We're gonna play a cover. We're gonna play a cover really quick. Uh, this song was from a compilation done with Hopeless Records called Songs That Saved My Life. And I just want you all to know that you're not fucking alone. Um, draw inspiration from anywhere to see tomorrow, okay? I fucking love all of you. Um, okay. This song's called Shake It Out. And really quick, now that they're all set up, There's some more friends <laughs> joining me on the right. I'm Mrs. Worldwide. <laughs> Damn right you are. Coming from all the way in the outskirts of Los Angeles, California. From, from her fucking badass band, Hoity Toity. It's Aria! Now this one doesn't have blonde hair. This one has purple. I don't know if you've noticed. Coming all the way from which Carolina? North Carolina. This talented little fucking beast who literally relearned drums the opposite way. Like she was a drummer left-handed drummer, and now you're a right-handed drummer, I, and then came on tour with us. This talented beast behind me is also named Sydney! <laughs> but we shall call her Scoot. She just went from that side to this side. <laughs> um, and that one's still Tay. This song's called Shake It Out.
Yes, who's back? Back again. Tori's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Okay, this isn't a jam sesh for other songs, okay? Okay, listen. Because I want to take a second to ask you a question, a really important question. Can I be an angry trans person for a second? I was going to do it anyway, but like, I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. Because I think, I think if anyone didn't agree with me, <laughs> they're in the wrong place. Because um, <laughs> the Rat Pack does not fucking give a shit if you're against... I mean, I should say we do give a shit if you're against trans rights. And it wouldn't be pretty, okay? That's all I'm saying. Um, because I'm angry. I'm angry, and I'm gonna keep being angry until my existence is no longer inherently political. Until my existence is no longer... Until my existence is no longer something that they can make fucking laws about, especially with the youth in my fucking community. We already lost so many elders in our fucking community to the AIDS crisis. We've already lost so many people to suicide. We've already lost so many young people to suicide because no one will fucking tell them how fucking valid they are because they don't know because our country is fighting against us. But I'm here to fucking tell you that even in this state, in all the states you came from, in all the countries you came from, you're valid, you're fucking loved. And this song goes out to all those fucking transphobes, all those people out there. All those people out there that need to eat shit!
fuckers. What are the... <laughs> Guys. <laughs> little stickers. It says Rat Pack Forever on the little stickers. <laughs> the little Rat things. fucking pack! <laughs> oh, is this a little puff ball? Oh my god, there's little puff balls. <laughs> they're like roses, but they're puff balls. <laughs> This is so cute! <laughs> Gay people! Yay! <laughs> God, hi, Megan. I mean, look at all the puffballs, Megan. They're so cute. Let's give them names. I'm gonna name all of them. I'm gonna name all of them. That one's Jerry. That one's Jerry. That one's Jerry number two. That one's Dolly Parton. Um, oh God. That one's Jefferson Starship. <laughs> it's a supernatural reference. Oh, shut the <laughs> fuck up. Wait, wait, which one is fake? Oh God. Which one's fake? Okay, um, let's see. This one's baby. Um, we're gonna pretend that we're walking off the stage and this is the final song, and then you guys are gonna be like, one more song. We'll be like, no. Excuse me, so we'll be like, yes. So, okay, bye. We're gonna pretend. We'll do two more if you guys will be in my B-reel. I didn't do my B-reel either. Megan, do yours and then I'll do mine. And then anybody that, didn't do, that I didn't get to do yours earlier, you gotta do yours right now too. B-reelception. going on oh no look who's coming oh my god it's almost like you never left it's almost like it's almost like we might play a couple more it's almost like we planned this all along <laughs> Fixed it. Oh, I miss you. I unplugged it. I'm sorry. Um, I like all these fuzzballs. They're so cute. I have baby in my pocket, by the way, in case anyone forgot. Um, this is so cute. This is so cute. Okay. Um, so we started almost ten years ago. Like, are you fucking, that's, that's crazy. 11. There's so, this is so crazy. We were all such babies, and we've all grown up together. The four of us have gone through a lot together. A lot of you have been with us from almost the very beginning, if not the beginning. All of these people over here, our parents, <laughs> our siblings, have been with us since before the beginning, believe it or not. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad and all the moms Thank and dads. Thank you, Moms and Dads. We love the moms and the dads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Thank you, siblings. drove us around the country before we could drive the RV, so they were part of that. They were there. Seth Rich was there. We did! This next song is 
one of the songs we played for the Battle of the Bands that Megan got us together for in the first place. This is the first song we ever played ever, ever, on like live. Literally. Ever. Yeah. Literally, I think. And if you find it on YouTube, no, you didn't. My mom definitely has some on her YouTube channel um, or something like that. My mom or my dad, whoever. It's on YouTube somewhere. Um, <laughs> and Do it again. No! <laughs> what? Now, we're all... <laughs> it's like a snow, it's literally like a snowball fight. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna play these last two songs and then I'm gonna be at the merch table. We're gonna be at the merch table and I'm gonna take your money in exchange for goods, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna say hi and we're gonna have a great fucking time, okay? Um, Let's get it, Alex. Let's get it. This song's a cover. Oh, I think you might have. Yay! Oh, that was weird. I don't know what just happened. We're gonna try that one more time. Just watch this foot. I think it might have been this foot. Cameron. One more time! Wait, what? Wait. Do, wait, play it again. What? There we go. <laughs> Fingers crossed.
I catch my breath, hold on. I sing for the melody. Are there Wolens? Are there Wolens in the building? Zach, the Wolens. Wolen? Nathan, Nathan Wolen. Wolen. Is, are your, is your mom still here? I don't know. <laughs> Diane. 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 Diane Wolen. Okay, well listen. I have a very important thing to say about the Wolens. <laughs> I, Dollskin wouldn't be here without the Wolens, okay? <laughs> all of the practicing for the Battle of the Bands, all of the writing of our first song we ever wrote, took place in their fucking garage. So, <laughs> studio thing, converted garage thing. Anyway, thank you. Um, this last song is the first song that we ever wrote. This last song is the first song that really made a calling to our fans that were yet to come because it was our first song. <laughs> um, and as much as you are all of the Rat Pack, you started out the family of strangers. We started, we started as the family of strangers. That's all of you, that's all of us, that's all of you. Thank you, family of strangers. This is family of strangers. <laughs>
And take another one. We need all of them. Put them up, put them up. Are the house, wait, turn the house lights on. Turn the house lights on, I wanna see these fucking people. I'm not even saying please, it has to happen. There we go, there we go. Thank you, Rebel Lounge, Rat Pack, Family of Strangers. Thank you so much. Thank you to my lovely band members for being a beautiful place to grow up. Chick flick moment. Okay, whatever. Ah!